Building Ecosystemic Permanence. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 495. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable, regenerative, and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our September 18th, 2022 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building ecosystemic permanence. And building ecosystemic permanence means building systems designed to last because they integrate with and support Earth's natural systems that we all depend on. And the way that one community is doing this is by addressing all aspects of a comprehensible, comprehensively sustainable lifestyle. And everything that you see happening in the background of this video is an overview and selections of what it is that we're developing and open sourcing and free sharing. And if you look at this stuff or everything, we break, break, break sustainability into two primary categories. There's physical sustainability, and all of these we're looking at them from an eco-permanence uh, perspective, and I'll touch on each one actually. So we have physical foundations of sustainability, and we have the emotional foundations of sustainability. And the physical foundations of sustainability, everybody's heard of. They are food, energy, and housing. But there's also the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, what we call high school approaches to education, high school approaches to economics, and truer stewardship. And we're putting all these things together as an evolution of sustainability that demonstrates ecosystemic permanence because all these things are related. They're all designed to be sustainable, to last, to give more than they take and to create a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And we know that if we can make this easy enough, if we can make it affordable enough, and we can demonstrate the experience of living this way as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own and we have the ability to create a sustainable planet within our lifetime. And this is what one community has dedicated itself, itself to doing. So when I talk about east ecosystemic permanence, and the idea of building systems designed uh, to last because they integrate with this and support Earth's natural systems. What I mean by that is like in the, in the category of housing, it's like let's build homes that last for hundreds of years, not decades. You know, and so something like earth bag construction, there are earth bag construction homes in the Middle East that have been standing for 500 years. That's ecosystemic permanence. You know, when we look at food, it's like grow food without the use of herbicides, pesticides, and fungicides, all of which destroy the biome that the that food grows in, that poisons that are poison to the people that eat it, and don't support ecosystem permanence. So by growing without that, by building soil, by growing healthy food, by eating locally, we are again supporting ecosystemic permanence on a global scale and on a local scale. So that's really, really important. And sustainable energy should be pretty much self-explanatory, but the idea is by using renewables rather than non-renewables, we are again supporting ecosystemic permanence by choosing to get our power from a source that is less destructive than fossil fuels. And in the case of something like fulfilled living, now this is where it starts getting complex, like, well, how do you apply building ecosystemic permanence to fulfilled living, what you call highest good approaches to education, economics and true stewardship? Like, how do we do that? Well, the idea is to build models of living that better meet the needs, the foundational needs of people in the way they're living right now. And those foundational needs are things like connection, contribution, growth, uh, security, variety. All of these things are built into the fulfilled living models. They're also built into the education models. You could even argue that they're built into the economic models and the stewardship models. And so the idea is to create, take these emotional foundations, 
the education model, uh, sorry, the fulfilled living model that better meets the needs of the human soul and spirit while giving back to the planet. Also, the education model that is focused, that's kid-centric, more kid-centric than traditional models, and is focused on teaching kids how to learn as much as what to learn. So building that foundation of knowledge, but really working on the ideas of what is wisdom. You know, like you can take a test or you can learn how to be a better test taker. As an example, you can read a book or you can learn how to be a better book reader. You know, you can learn knowledge or you can learn how to more effectively become knowledgeable. And so we think both of those things are really, really important. And same thing with economic models. Economic models built on cooperation and collaboration, things like a resource-based economy instead of competition is certainly more ecosystemic, permanent, and sustainable than competitive models. And then, of course, true stewardship. It's about stewarding our planet. It's about living ecosystemic permanence. It's about building resilience in everything that we do, giving more than we take, and how do we do that? So... When one community talks about building ecosystemic permanence, we integrate this idea into every aspect of the complete comprehensive living model that we're developing it, and we call it living and creating for the highest good of all. It's about creating living models that give more than they take. It's about supporting each other and the planet and open sourcing and free sharing this so that anybody who wants to can replicate and evolve what it is that we're doing to create something even better. And the beauty of our model is that we're open sourcing all the tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions as our marketing model. So the more that we do that, the more we free share and give away what it is that we're creating, the more successful we are. And our lifestyle that we're developing will be our greatest commodity. A third of what we're creating is designed for ecotourism, and the more and so the more that we are having a good time, demonstrating how amazing it is to live this way and what's possible. And the more interesting it is, the more people want to come and visit and experience what it is that we're creating, the more successful we'll be, the more we can thrive, and we're open sourcing and free sharing that also so that other people can take that as well and replicate that. This is how One Community is creating a better world. We're an all-volunteer organization, including myself. We're a nonprofit organization. We're a non-governmental organization. We're creating this because we want to live this way. We're creating this because we see the possibility of a sustainable world that works for everybody for the first time, perhaps in history, until there were so few people that really it wasn't possible uh, to be doing the kind of damage that we're doing right now. And most people had what it was that they needed. But now we have technology and the ability to create a world that truly works for everybody to address the greatest challenges of our generation and generations to come with a model like this. And so this is why we're creating this. We see building ecosystemic permanence like a food forest. If you don't know what a food forest is, a food forest is a forest built in layers modeling nature such that once it is up and constructed and thriving, you would have to bulldoze it and actually physically go in and destroy it and make effort to destroy it because it will last forever. It will renew and regenerate itself indefinitely once it's established. And so we want to create living models that support humanity at that kind of level, that kind of permanence where it's thriving and so wonderful and supportive that people are invested in keeping it going and it's and it's designed to help those around us and help others to live and create this way as well so win 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 you know win for the individual win on the local level and the community level obviously win for the planet win economically win globally that's that's what we're trying to create creating and living for the highest good of all people and life on this planet so that's what we're up to. If you like this sort of thing, subscribe, get a weekly dose of positivity in your inbox. Uh, visit our written blog if you'd like to see the specifics of what it is that our team has done just in the last seven days. Visit our, our weekly progress update blog. Breaks that down person by person and talks about everything that we're creating. Visit our website if you'd like to see all of our open source content. And of course, if you'd like to help, um, visit our helping page. There's lots of ways to help there from uh, Amazon smiles so your Amazon purchases support us to obviously donating to contributing as a volunteer there's ways for anybody to help that wants to and um, if you just like to learn more about our project stick around for another couple of minutes and see the bullet points of each of the major components of our project and um, yeah with that said thanks for watching to the end and know as I always say that we will of course keep on keeping on thank you the one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, 
and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is Highest Good Education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to Highest Good Education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.